Okay, just a quick video that I thought might be helpful uh, working with Tinkercad and using the Arduino Uno simulator. Uh, one thing is when I want you to write code for this, uh, we want to do it in a way that we can carry that skill over to the Arduino Uno and also um, into what we're going to do next year with microcontrollers. So I'm going to hit the code window over here. And I want you to be writing your code in text. I know there's uh, block programming, and I know that's rather easy to do, but we have to learn text programming. So please make sure all your future assignments are that way. The other thing is, is when you're done building your circuit and you want to share it, a lot of people are hitting share up here on the top right hand side. Um, that won't work until you make your file uh, public available to the public and be able to see it so the way to do that is go to the top left hand side to the Tinkercad menu get back to where all your files are stored and once we get back there uh, takes a little time for the computer to catch up make sure you're in circuits and you see all the different files that you created and when you mouse over them you'll see this little gear uh, setup and options thing and go to the file that you want to share left click on that choose properties and these are all the available properties in here the one that's really important is this privacy should be set for public uh, by default the files are private and when you go to share them then I can't get a link the other thing that I'm doing is if I go in here and create a tag, and you can do that too, and if I type EET178 and I hit the enter key, uh, that'll create a tag. You've seen I've already done that. Uh, what this does for you is once you have a public file, you can go and search for all the EET178 files, and it will find it out of all the files that people have loaded for Tinkercad, and that will make us all be able to see all the files that we're sharing. Um, you can add tags if you want to.